In this tutorial, we're going to learn about sound customization. You'll notice that at the bottom of the screen, there's this little icon that looks like a little wavelength. Go ahead and click on that wavelength. Here, we're going to be able to change aspects of the sound so that it's more desirable for whatever system we're working with. In the Choose Soundscape 4, you can click on Drone or Metronome. For now, we'll just look at the drone settings. You can create a simple sine wave, a rich harmonic spectrum, square wave, triangle wave, sawtooth wave. Whatever sound more adequately suits your needs, you can set that as your default. Another cool feature is over here where it says Mixer. Let's say you want to make the metronome softer and the drone louder. All you have to do is turn down the metronome or turn up the drone, and then you can change the balance of those two. If you want to turn down the whole thing, you can change the volume of the master. And over here, there's also options, for example, a, a count off. If you want to take those beats that are counting off and turn those down, that's fine. Another great feature for those of you that might be playing in ensembles that don't play at A440 is if you come over here, you can calibrate everything to a different level of A. So if you play in an ensemble that's at A442, you just move this to A442, and it's going to change all of the features of Dr. Drone to line up with A442. Just remember, if you toggle this button by accident and save it, it's going to be the new default. So if you want to stay with 440, make sure that's on 440, and then make sure that you save it so it's good there. All right, let's go back. So now we're going to save just to make sure that those, those aspects are saved. So again, you go to this icon, and you can customize the sound or change the balance between the drone and metronome, and you can recalibrate the pitch of the A that you're using.